everybody knows that trypsin is an enzyme. You kind of remember that from the, one of the first enzymes you've ever heard of. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is also an enzyme. We all have it, and we should be glad that we do, because without getting into its complex biochemistry, it this enzyme, alpha-1 antitrypsin, protects organs, especially the lung and the liver, from the destructive effects of inflammatory changes. If, for example, we had a genetic defect in which this enzyme, this protective enzyme of the liver and the lung could not be made, we would expect to find diseases in the liver and the lung. And that's exactly what happens. If uh, you are not born with alpha-1 antitrypsin uh, because you uh, did not inherit the gene which makes it, you might get this in your liver. You know this is classical cirrhosis, don't you? You could see some of the nodules are quite big. Believe me, even though this is a microscopic picture, these nodules could actually be felt with your finger. They're pretty big nodules. These are macro nodules. Notice here's a portal area. Notice there's a band of fibrous tissue going from that area to that area. Notice there's another band of fibrous tissue going from that portal area to that portal area. This is a classical cirrhosis. And the reason why it's uh, cirrhosis is because this liver has not been able to protect itself from the damaging effects of normal inflammatory cells. So people that uh, have alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency uh, frequently get a severe chronic uh, lung diseases, uh, especially in the lower lobes of the lungs, and they also get cirrhosis. And like any other type of cirrhosis, you have nodules and you have fibrosis. Those are the only two things you need to diagnose it. And because these are now nodules and they are no longer uh, hepatic lobules, uh, even though you would like to find uh, central veins within them, you can't. In some areas, I think you might be able to sort of recognize a, um, a hepatic sinusoid kind of a pattern but uh, in cirrhosis, you don't see central veins. Uh, but what you do see are these big nodules, and you see these little bands of uh, uh, true mature fibrous tissue uh, extending from portal areas to other portal areas. This is very possibly the most classical picture you'll ever see in your whole life of, of a cirrhosis. Thank you very much.